MLB The Show dropped probably the best content drop ever, and you can build a team that might just break the game. And I'm going to show you what I have behind me, the best team possible, probably, or one of the best team possible, because I don't have every single card. But I'm going to show you what team you can build up with one of the cards I added today. It is actually insane. But let's go over the entire content first. Number one thing, obviously, the roster updates. Mookie got a little bit of a boost, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. Obviously, I'm going to focus on the main players here. Uh, plus 14 uh, contact against right, plus 13 contact against left, plus 13 power. So right now, he doesn't even need a boost right now, honestly. Shohei Otani, not much there. Another big change that they made in the roster updates was Mike Trout. They lowered his contact quite a bit, and they lowered his clutch quite a bit. I'm glad I got him P5. I had my fun with him, but he might not make the team anymore. Another uh, drop for Acuna, minus seven in uh, contact and power. Contact versus left, power versus right. P Tatis got a little bit of an upgrade there. Man, less contact versus uh, left, but a lot more contact and power against both sides as well, uh, as you can see there. So obviously, other than that, I'm not, I haven't been a lot, you know, investing a whole lot in these cards. So I'm more curious about the top cards, uh, but I think those are kind of like the big ones. Adolis Garcia, um, it's an 88 now, you know, obviously a lot more contact. Uh, I think we had a couple golds to diamonds. This is one of them. Josh Naylor, obviously having an insane start of the year. Uh, Tariq Skubal is now a diamond as well. So if you're invested in some of these cards, go get your stubs. Uh, but I think the biggest ones is that Mookie, he doesn't need a boost anymore. Mike Trout might not be, might not be making much lineups anymore. Another thing that we have is the new event. As you can see, I already have five wins here. At 10 wins, we get this Jerry Harrison Jr., He's okay, nothing, to, you know, he's more of a collection card. He can play every position, solid uh, speed there. But other than that, not much power, not not too excited about that one. But Dante Bichette, 96 overall Dante Bichette, 114, 110 contact, 97, 120 power, 120 clutch. So against lefties, I mean, 110, 120 is insane. With the runners in score position, it's going to be 120, 120. Once you get into parallel five, it's going to be maxed out against lefties. Solid. Obviously, you want him probably either in left field or as a DH. So solid, solid option there um, for the event. And we got a couple of new programs added. As you can see, season awards drop five. I haven't seen any of this. We're looking at it together. So obviously, it's going to be the same thing. There's going to be the missions. Tops now mission is going to be the same. Obviously, if you have the other cards uh, collected, then you get some points towards the uh, progress on it. But uh, we have a 92 overall Jack Leiter. Nothing special there with the hits per nine. 88 is just too low at this point. 92 overall, you can probably have better options. We have Cam Boozer, 101 hits per nine. Very solid there, but Cutter Slur forced him. If you had a sinker, he might be he might be solid. Uh, nice little story there. If you don't know his story, he just debuted um, as a 30-year-old, I believe, 31-year-old in the big leagues. We have Andy Pages. El Pajes, uh, 85, 102 against right, 108, 88 against lefties. Um, he fits that Buxton boost. If you're into that, it adds 20. Um, 81 speed is actually pretty solid. So if you had 20 power with a box and boost at tier three, it's, I mean, 85, 122 against uh, righties, 108 and, uh, 10, uh, yeah, 108, 108 against lefties. That's pretty solid with 94 clutch. Not too bad for a, for an outfielder right there. We also have a 92 overall Alec bomb, 114, 120 against lefty. That's pretty good. 116 clutch is good. Power obviously lacks that power against righties. You really want that power there, but he does fit that Arenado boost as well, so not too bad. And then Tanner Hauk, 90 is per ninth. That's kind of low, uh, but solid. Everything else, slider, splitter, sinker, cutter, as you can see. I mean, yeah, he might be okay, but not. I don't think he, he fits that. You know, he's not a top five pitcher. Moving over to the show classic, we know there's that Cody Bellinger at the very end. Obviously, the same way. There's going to be missions. There are going to be multiplayer missions and single player missions. Uh, again, they brought in the extreme moment for 10 points. That's probably a must do um 10 total bases in one game that should be fun we'll try it out later but we got kenta maeda um so you can see 93 overall 109 hits per nine 104 clutch those are always going to be the key factors for pitchers he has a primary slider forcing curveball sinker and splitter this might be better than that tannic out so not not a bad option there um even though i just saw his control it's not great but we'll see we'll see with that um uh, kbert ruiz 104 90 contact 85 78 so very well balanced. He is a switch hitting catcher. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second, but he does also fit that Arenado boost. Um, so not too bad there as a 94 free card. We have a Nick Lodolo, and he was causing headaches back in the day. If you remember from, I think it will be the show 20. He has a sinker slider, forcing circle change, lefty there. 95 hits per nines with 100 clutch. Um, not too bad. He's, he's like an okay card. Obviously, we got some, some of the packs here. And then we got Glaber Torres. 
95, 96 contact, 106, 103, just very good. 50 speed, so he doesn't fit any of the major boosts, corner uh, stone boosts, but his swing is very good. This The first four attributes is actually solid for how good his swing is as well. He's a primary shortstop, uh, even though he's been, obviously, that's what's his old position, uh, but he does play second and third base as well. And here we do get a show classic pack. Obviously, the ones that came out a while back, we can get a Nick Castellano who's still going for about 80. If you get the rare round, there's that Edwin Cabrera if you need some pitching help. Um, Alan Trammell, I think, from the mid mid round. And then Miguel Andujar, Carl Lewis, Logan Webb from the from the base round. So glad that they add that. So let's take a look at Bellinger then. Let's take a look at this 95 Cody Bellinger, 90, 85 contact, 101, 103 power, 55 vision. It does fit that Buxton boost. 90 fielding he's obviously first base primary but he can play at any outfield position so well. with 79 speed he's gonna be fine this card is good it's okay 92 clutch is not elite i love the clutch is better than the contact his swing is very good it always plays if you're on legend you're probably gonna try to stay away from cody bellinger but hall of fame or below he's gonna be fine he's gonna play uh we know about his swing too all right and last but not least we have to go to the packs because obviously that's that's the theme for this year right so we're gonna go to the packs i bought one I bought one, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second. Obviously, there's going to be two free millionaire packs there in the show shop. Go get them. I still haven't pulled anything, but I hope you do. Uh, we do have a season one of uh, packs. Here we have Kyle Riley. He's going to be in the rare round, 102, 120 against righty. He's not very good against lefty, but he does have uh, 97 clutch, and he is a switch hitter. That's going to be a theme as well. We got Reed Garrett, 116, 116. That's pretty solid. Slider, slur, splitter, four seam. And a sinker, not too bad. He doesn't have any quirks, but I don't know how his release is, but it looks good on paper. Uh, 93 overall, Ranger Suarez. So 103 stamina, 101 hits per nine. Not a lot of K per nines, but he does have 109 clutch. Sinker, cutter guy for uh, lefty, slow curveball as well. He might be good. He was supercharged uh, not too long ago, so I know a lot of people actually use them. Um, we have Mitchell Parker here as a 93 overall, 99 hits per nine, 105 clutch. This one's not very good. So, obviously, he is going to be the base round, uh, along with Jonathan uh, Klasse, left fielder, switch hitter, as well with 96 speed. It's actually nice. 97, 85 contact, 74, 84 power, 99 clutch. This might be an interesting card. Not bad for a base round there. So, uh, that is going to be 30,000. Obviously, you can get some of those cards and collect them into the program, try to advance that program. But other than that, nothing there we do have a new headliner as well it is 97 matt chapman well balanced obviously it's a platinum card but 101 108 against uh contact and then 184 power not too bad 95 clutch obviously he has to have 99 fielding 81 speed is actually well above average for a third baseman he doesn't have any secondaries but uh yeah nice little headliner there and i think that is pretty much it nope nope we got jordan alvarez 115, 125, contact and power against right, 101, 92 against left, 112 clutch. I'm curious to see side by side, and I don't have this card, so I cannot compare it side by side, but him and the live series, Jordan Alvarez. Um, Jordan Alvarez live series fits that Arenado boost. Obviously, this one does as well. Um, it will make it a lot better, but he probably goes for a lot. He goes for 250 more or less. So do you actually need to spend 250,000 right now if you have live series Jordan Alvarez? I do not think so. But this card obviously is going to be very, very good and just insane. We love his Life Series card too. So last but not least, Captain's Pack. We got new Captains. Obviously, we had the Cornerstones. They mentioned that the Cornerstones are the entire Cornerstones for the entire season. Then we're going to get new Cornerstones for Season 2. But they we are getting new Captains, right? So we have a Captain, uh, Trevor Hoffman, 117-125 clutch per 9. Uh, clutch there. We got Circle Change Forcing Cutter. The typical Trevor Hoffman card. He's going to be good. Good change of pace pitcher. Um, he does have you need. So obviously pitchers that have reached 45 saves in a season. So obviously every card from this pack is going to be 40,000, right? So that's that's what we're looking at. He does have tier three, 15 hits per nine, 15 K per nine, 10 pitching clutch and 10 walks per night. So he makes your pitching staff a lot better. We got a Clayton and Kershaw 95 with a 94 hits per nine, 109 clutch. Not too bad. Actually, not a bad pitcher on paper. Uh, tier three boosts, 15 hits per nine, 15 contact versus right and 15 power and 15 clutch so he does have plus 15 contact and power against right and plus 15 clutch that is a very good boost um and you add a solid lefty to the rotation if you're actually interested in that not not too bad i know back in the day clayton kershaw gave us a lot of headache we have a big poppy 2000s hitter so you use players from the 2000s decade and he gives you plus 15 contact and power against right and batting clutch so the same thing 
as that Kershaw, but he does give you plus 10 contact against left. Actually, his attributes are not bad. 125 clutch is amazing. 125 clutch, he does fit that Arenado boost. So you, you might not even need to use this card as a captain. You can just add him to Arenado if you're using that one. 114, 110 against right, 96, 75 against lefty. That power against lefties could be better, but that's pretty good. 125 clutch, yes. Uh, we got Mark Pryor. This win's going to be a standout series, so interesting. 82 hits per nine is not going to be very good. 117 clutch, good, but four pitch repertoire from a starting pitcher is not very good. The tier three, three boost gives you uh, 20K per nine, 15 hits per nine, 20 power against right and 20 clutch. So the boost itself are not bad, but I don't think he's that good. And then we have a Carlos Santana. We'll come back to Carlos Santana. That's going to be the last one I want to show you. I did see that one. Uh, Seiya Suzuki, Asian-born captain, 97, 116 contact, 94, 68 power, 105 clutch, solid. I love his swing, 74 speed, not too bad. I'm not sure what players and what team this will look like. Obviously, you will get Shohei. It, it shows that uh, the boost includes Narsh Newtbart and Tommy Edman as well. Um, the boost plus 20 contact and power against right, and it, it helps pitching as well with plus 20 walks per nine and hit, uh, 15 hits per nine. Not too bad. And then last but not least, Carlos Santana. And this is the reason why I bought the pack. So you can see switch hitting catcher. He's a 91-91 against righties. 114-98 against lefties with 110 clutch. This is no boost. This is no nothing. 49 speed. Switch hitting catcher can play first as, as well. And as you can see, Carlos Santana can boost switch hitters. And plus 12 contact against right and left. Plus 10 batting clutch. Plus 10 walks for nine. So he helps the pitching uh, as well with that plus 10 Honestly, not a lot of power, but there's so many good switch hitters, not only just now, but that are going to keep coming out in future uh, content drops. You're going to be able to use this card as a wild card as well. You can plug in, babe. And I'm going to tell you some things that I made to my lineup. Again, I don't have, still don't have that Nico Goodrum. There's some, I don't have that Ian Happ. I don't have a couple switch hitters that are very good, uh, but I'm going to show you the team that I built just in two minutes. And I think it's pretty good. And there's a trick to it as well. So obviously, this is a team, but look at the attributes. I have him as a tier three. Everyone with attributes when it comes to clutch and contact is going to be much higher than normal. Um, everyone 100 plus. Babe Ruth doesn't really matter. I can still have Babe Ruth there. He's going to be my starting catcher. I have Josh Bell. I might give this team a try. Let me know your thoughts. If you look at the bench, we have four guys that fit that boost as well. Backup catcher, somebody that's very good against righty, very good against lefties, and obviously our speed speedster infielder all that good stuff but it gets better because somebody like kenley jansen 93 overall if you have any bullpen he is a switch hitter as well right who else is a switch hitter adam Ottavino. that counts that's two players that counts towards that uh boost it's it's actually very good you got to have adam Ottavino anyways on your bullpen you can even add another player here like if you look at i think it's um robin roberts yep you add robin roberts here and that's another one. So I can actually, now I have 14 out of 13. For example, I can say like, oh, you know what? I struggle with Bernie. Or I don't like the power that Willie Castro is giving me here. So, all right, let's see what else we can do. We got Ryan Braun. Or we got whatever. Whoever you want, you can add to this team as well with that uh, other one. I think this is probably the best captain boost we've ever had. And I want to hear your thoughts. I will still play around with this team, but I am excited to jump into rank seasons after we're done grinding and getting all the new cards. But again, drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy grinding. And I'll see you on the next one.